quick thing before the video starts. Um, now my gamer tags video is my third most viewed video on my channel, which is absolutely insane. The way I had the tags in the video in the description, I think it just clicked with the YouTube algorithm. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, I guess thank you for all the views. So I think we need to talk about Logan Paul. Now, I know there's going to be people that just click on this video and say, Oh, you're just putting Jake Paul and Logan Paul in the title so you can get views. <laughs> but th th that's not true at all. I'm going to put this thread from YouTube comments on KSI's response video to Jake Paul and Logan Paul. I think that pretty much sums up the entire Logan Paul and Jake Paul fan base. Now, the problem I have with Jake Paul and Logan Paul, especially Jake Paul, is that they think that because they're more famous on social media and that they have more money than people, that that makes them a better person. And that is just not a good thing. Now, I'll, I'll dive into the whole Logan Paul dead body thing in a couple minutes, but we're going to talk about Jake Paul first. Now, Jake Paul, I feel like before the Logan Paul incident, everyone looked at Jake as more of the kind of cocky brother I guess like he had all the money he was in team 10 all that but after the dead body situation I think it kind of flipped for everyone now Jake Paul we all know about that news team incident where he climbed on the van and the neighbors were being disrupted and then he secretly recorded him apologizing to the neighbors which is completely screwed up and one of the other problems I have with Jake Paul are just his vlogs in general now me personally, as you can see by the video I posted last week, I'm not really too fond of vloggers. If you're a vlogger that puts a lot of time and effort into your videos and you actually enjoy doing it and you, you enjoy editing and stuff, then vlogging is amazing. One person that does this is Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat is easily the best vlogger I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure he's in his 40s. And if you just watch one of his vlogs, you'll be blown away on how many cinematics he has and how much time he puts into it. Whereas Jake Paul just runs around with a camera and edits it all together into one 20 minute video where he says, oh, I broke my toe. But then that part comes at the 13 minute mark and it's like a little 20 second clip just so he can have clickbait. And another thing I don't like about Jake Paul is that he will lie just to get attention on him. That's all he wants is just attention. If you remember the whole assistant situation where that was completely fake he, him and his assistant and all of team 10 just made that up if you have the audacity to lie about another youtuber assaulting your assistant just to get drama started and get popular then there's something seriously wrong with you and then team 10 was saying that they were going to take banks to court and obviously that never happened. I feel like Jake Paul is the more weird, crazy brother, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. He's just so, some of the things he does is just completely retarded. Now let's move on to Logan Paul. Now, Logan Paul, before the whole dead body incident, I respected him way more than Jake Paul. Even though he did kind of the same thing, he was more respectful to people and their property and stuff like that. He wasn't like Jake where he would light his pool on fire and the flames would go 30 feet in the air. Now Logan Paul, you know, we've all heard about the incident with the dead body and stuff and I feel like the video he made after it where he was tearing up and apologizing, that's probably the best apology video I've ever seen on YouTube. And I took that as a sincere apology, I think he really did feel bad not only just because he got a lot of hate but I think he kinda realized you know hey I did something wrong now let's fix it and I will say the next video after that where he donated a million dollars to charity that was one of the best videos I have ever seen from Logan Paul or Jake Paul or pretty much any daily vlogger it was really put together you could tell that he's put a lot of time and effort into it and he went and talked to, you know, people who tried to commit suicide. It was just an incredible video. But then he started his vlogs back up. Now, his first video, it wasn't too bad. It was just it was just a little skit, I guess you could say, where he was a caveman, I think. I don't know. I think he was trying to reference Castaway. I couldn't really tell. And I thought, okay, I think it was a little bit too early to return to the whole daily vlogging scene, but I guess I can understand it. And then he uploaded his first vlog back. I'm pretty sure it was his first. Maybe it was his second. 
But uh, about halfway through the vlog, uh, I guess there was a mouse or rat in their house, whatever, and they killed it with a. I'm pretty sure it was a a, a mouse trap. Now, if he had just like talked to the camera, said you know. We just found a dead rat, whatever, and just left it at that. That would have been completely fine. No one would have had a problem with that. But instead, they took the rat's body, the corpse, and put it on the concrete and started basically joking about it just like he did with the suicide force. And I know there's people that argue, oh, it's just a rat, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Now, if this was just out of the blue, you know, like, let's say two months ago this happened before the dead body incident, I feel like... This wouldn't be as bad, but the fact that he did this a month after his dead body video, that just was retarded. I really did think that Logan learned his lesson, and you know, I thought, okay, he's probably not going to do anything that edgy or whatever again, but then he comes out with that vlog and does that. And there's actually a statement from, uh, I think it was PETA, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. Uh, they were saying that they were going to try to get his channel taken down because of the, you know, stuff that was going on with that and how they basically abused a dead rat. And then YouTube actually took away all of Logan's monetization. Now, at first what they did was they got rid of his YouTube Red series, which is pretty bad. Then they cut his ad in half and took him off of the, uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's the advanced ad revenue or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Now, that's pretty bad because he's, he's obviously not going to make as much money that way. But now they have completely cut ads from all of his videos, so he's not even monetized anymore. So I don't know what he's going to do at this point. And there was someone that was tweeting out on Twitter how the way he's been acting over the past, you know, month, month and a half, whatever, that that's showing signs of a psychopathy. I don't really know if I completely agree with that. I'll put the tweets up on the screen if I can find them. Um, but yeah. Now, do I think YouTube completely demonetizing his videos is a good thing? Yeah, for Logan Paul specifically, I think that is a good thing. But I don't think if someone does something bad, like let's say Rice Gum uploads a diss track that went too far, I don't think they should demonetize all of his videos. I don't think they should do that. But in Logan Paul's situation, I think they should have. And I think they might want to do it to Jake Paul. Because he's done some pretty bad stuff in the past. I feel like if he does one or two more bad things, I think they should definitely cut all of his ads. So that's just really all I have to say about the whole Jake Paul situation. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was kind of more of a serious video. But I feel like this stuff, you know, I've, of course you've seen videos like this everywhere, you know, over all of YouTube. I just feel like I would want to put this out. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I like to rant about a lot of things, and I'm not saying this channel's gonna turn into a ranting channel, like Kavos or whatever. I'm not gonna say that, it's just, I feel like I wanted to talk about that. But, uh, as serious as it was, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, and it's been Stinky. Peace out.